I don't want any of this muck, thanks very much. I'll have a drink. Right. You the director, son? Yes. Hardly out of the cradle, the pair of you. Right, let's talk turkey. I'm not sure about this, not sure at all. No? Apart from anything else, I don't want to take on another long run. Had enough of that on the army game. Nearly killed me. Would you like Weekly, to order some drinks? bloody rep. Whiskey and soda, choppy choppy. Yes, sir. Now, whose idea was all this? That fellow from ITV? Sidney Newman, yes. But so many people have been at the birth of the thing, we'd be here all day. Tell me about the characters. Two school teachers, Ian and Barbara. They're intrigued about one of their pupils, a young girl called Susan. She seems to have impossible knowledge for a girl from 1963. So the school teachers follow her home, but home is a junkyard. Yes, yes, yes. Scripts. I need to see scripts. Oh, they're going wonderfully. <laughs> wonderfully. The BBC are really excited about the show. I mean, they're throwing everything at it. State-of-the-art facilities. How do they get about? Uh, flying saucer or something? Ours is a space and time machine that can blend in with its background. What, you mean it's covered in invisible paint or something? No, 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 no. It adapts to suit its environment. It gets stuck in one shape. A police box. Police box. How gorgeous would that be? An ordinary 20th century object on the surface of an alien planet. Fantastic. <laughs> and the opening titles are like nothing you've ever seen. Yes. You see, if you point a camera down its own monitor, it creates the most wonderful shapes, patterns, like mirrors, endlessly reflecting, swooping and pulsing like butterfly wings. Maybe I could be in them. Just pop in front of the camera, would you, Tony? Let's see how that looks. Oh, Christ, no. That's terrifying. And wait till you hear the music. We're using the latest technology. How did you do it? <laughs> Brian's house keys. What about the doctor himself? He's something like 600 years old. Looks like a senile old man, but he's tough. Tough. Tough and wiry like an old turkey. It's what you do so well, Mr. Hartnell. Stern and scary but with a twinkle. Trust me, Bill, you're perfect for it. No one will be able to resist you. Do you think so? C.S. Lewis meets H.G. Wells meets Father Christmas. That's the Doctor. Doctor who? Mm -hmm.